what's going on everybody it's Scorpius HD welcome back to another video so now today we're actually going to be changing the brakes to my 1997 Chevy Camaro without further ado let's just go ahead and go okay so now we are going to actually have to put the car on jack stands so I'm going to go and jack this car up real quick now for this side okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and jack up the whole car here and then after jack up the whole car then I'll get back to filming so I'll go and get let me go, go ahead and jack up the rest of the car, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we just jumped, jumped, jacked up the front of the car, and now we're going to go ahead and take off the front tire. So, again, I'm not going to film a second off each, each individual tire, the whole process of that. Just right, after we take, right after we take off each tire, I'm just going to simply just film a little bit of the tire off, then film the, a little bit of the other tire off. Make it, you'll, you guys will see what that effect will look like later on. Okay, so now there we go. So now we just took off the front tires, and this is what we're going to be changing this whole brake system. The tires are currently right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with changing these brakes. And it's, that's very it's like, it's like we're working on one side at a time. So first we're doing the front, and then next we'll work on the back. So it's going to be fun. Let's go and get started. Beautiful engine compartment. Fully within the next couple of years, I can LS1 swap it. Okay, we're now letting this the brake fluid drip, so we can. Hopefully they'll be able to get started fully changing these brakes, hopefully very, very soon. Okay, we are now trying to take this brake caliper off. We actually have the whole new brake parts, but I'm going to come inside and I'll show you guys them. So here they are, here are my new full brakes. The brake, we got everything for the brakes right here. These are going to be going on my car today. Like I say to y'all, thank you all very much for 600 subscribers, it means a lot. Um, you guys may have already seen my 600 sub video that I made last video. So, if you guys have not seen that, make sure you guys go check it out at the end of this video, of course. So, yes, yeah, continue changing these brakes. Here y'all go. Here is the pa the passenger side brake pad. Very, very cool. Now we got to take off the brake disc right here. And we're going to actually start washing the brakes. We're going to put this brake caliper in here and let, the, and let it soak for a little bit. But yeah, and in case you guys have not actually have seen the video where I actually changed the brakes of my Camaro, or the changes of tires of my Camaro, Here's a little recap. Yeah, that's really cool. And so, yeah, the reason why we put these 30th anniversary rims on this car in the first place is because we're actually going to be making my car kind of resemble a 30th anniversary Camaro. That's why you guys see it has these orange bolts and has orange on the, on the um, starting part of the engine there. We are going to be putting orange racing stripes on it, hopefully soon. It'd be really cool for me to actually have a car with orange racing stripes. We're going to also be repainting this white because the car actually has this front panel here white. I'm just about to go clean the brake well. I have no idea if you guys can hear me, but as you guys can see, I did just recently clean the brake area. So it does look a whole lot better. So now I'm actually about to clean the brakes because we're actually going to repaint them. So I'm about to go ahead and go paint these brakes. Okay, so now we got the brake hanging up here. We're going to put a clear coat on it a little bit later. Anyway, time to take off this other brake pad. Okay, so now we actually got the um, brake fluid dripping down on this one. Let's go and take off this other brake pad. Okay, and I just want to go ahead and give a shout out to at to Supercars Planet. I will leave a link to him in the description box down below as well as to his Instagram and YouTube in the description box down below. He asked me to give him a shout out, so I decided I might as well go ahead and just go ahead and go give him a shout out. Make sure you guys go check it in, in the description box down below to go give him a follow on his Instagram and also go give him a sub on his YouTube. Check this out. We've actually got both Corvettes parked right next to each other. The same time we got the C5 right here. The C4 with actually with this roof on, we have not actually seen the roof on the C4 ever since we ever since we actually did the first test drive video on it about a couple weeks about a couple months ago, and it, it doesn't it look a whole lot better with this roof on? The reason why we put the roof on is we're planning on taking it up the street. I may we we are probably are we I would, I just will not be able to film it. If so, yeah, I don't know if there's anything coming up planned for the C4 yet. C5 definitely not yet, nothing yet. The SF we actually changed. We actually did a video on that la uh, last or two weeks ago. If you guys want to go check out that video, 
Links will be up. Be sure to box down below. Nothing planned for the Malibu either. Anyway, let's go back up here to my car. You guys can see Burr. There's a lot of not loud noise coming up coming up here in my car. Let's move up here and film it. Sounds like a freaking Tesla like around a NASCAR track with that drill. It's crazy. Okay, so now I'm actually about to clean this side up as well. So I'm not gonna film it. We're just gonna straight to it. I just read I just finished cleaning this side. Now we're just gonna try to finish cleaning up the other side of the brake pad. On the other side brake pad. I didn't film it, but we actually see we actually put a clear coat on this brake and make this brake pad and it looks a whole lot shinier. Okay, time to go do the other side. Here we go, now we just got the other side brake pad done. We're actually currently putting another coat on the drive on the on passenger side one. Driver's side, and we're gonna wait for a couple more minutes. We're actually gonna go into the store later on to get some new parts so we can actually finish up working on the car. We should hopefully get it the whole car finished pretty soon. I can hopefully try moving it tomorrow and I can see how much better the brakes work. My car just looks so cold on the garage. I wish it would have stayed in here. Okay, I just finished up taking that one thing. It was the most exhausting thing I think I've ever done on my car so far. And now I'm gonna have to try to clean inside there. That's going to be uh, quite the task. Okay, good news is I got that interior piece cleaned up. We are now fully loosening the stabilizer bar now. Okay, and y'all, there we go. So now, so far, this is what we've gotten done to it so far. The reason why we put the new disc, the new discs on the brake and the on the where the brake goes, just to see what it's gonna look like. And I think that's gonna look really insane whenever we get these brakes on. So we're st not quite done working on this thing quite yet. Guarantee we'll, we'll, we will be able to get this thing done. And also back here, rear light that we also gotta fix as well. So the rear light problem should also hopefully get fixed within the next couple of days. Or hopefully even today. I don't know because we got we got like we got the um, thing all wired up. It's all ready to go. It's just that we don't have the right bulb for it. So we have to go get a new bulb for it. My parents they went they currently left to go actually get the parts that we need to hopefully get this car finished today. So yeah, I'll get back to the I'll, I'll get back to you guys once we start the finish. And if, and if you guys want a closer look at the new brake discs, here they are. Well, they're not completely on yet. As you guys can see, the lug nuts are not even on it yet. But that's right there is what they are going to look like. It's going to look absolutely, absolutely insane when it's completely done. And like I said, the rear, the rear, the rear light right here does have some things. As you guys can see, we got the new wire set up for it right here, where this orange piece is. We got a new wire set up already for it. Things we got to get a new, so we got to get a separate bulb for it so we can actually hook up the rear light we actually put the right side rear light back in because this rear light's good this thing is a uh, this one's not so we have a little bit of stuff to do to this side as well hopefully we can get that done in today's video as well and we're about to actually go ahead and paint this to make it look a whole lot better check that out that looks sick just got done with the other side check that the wheel well is gonna look incredible. Now we're almost finished putting the brake calipers back on. So now we are fully done. Full, well, not, well, not completely done. We're done putting the brake pad and the brake disc back on. We're gonna now hook up the brake line and then put the tire and then put the rims back on. Yeah, we'll, we, well, we gotta bleed it and we gotta we gotta bleed it and then put the tires back on. Okay, so now we just adjusted the brake pressure and now the brake is as hard as a brick. I, it's like it really literally hurts my leg whenever I press it my card enough multiple times in a row so yes so now the brake is now is as hard as it can be now we're about to go ahead and put the wheel back on okay there we go so now we just finished the whole front tire area so now all the front wheels and front brakes have now finally been replaced and the center locks are completely locked in there now they will never come off anyway time to move on to the back end Okay, so now we just took the passenger side tire, the passenger side rear tire off. We're going to try to see if we can fix these brake drums. Let's go get started fixing these brake drums. Hopefully we can get them all done before I got to go to work so I can actually fill out my whole video. And as you guys can also see, we also went ahead and fixed this rear light. This rear light, now both rear lights are back on the car and hopefully we will not have to fix them ever again. And we just got the old shocks out, which they're toast. We're going to have to put some new shocks in as well, which be honest with you guys, I do not know for a fact if we, if I will be able to act with, like we will be able to actually finish the car on, um, like on here. I gotta go be at work in about an hour. So okay, so y'all, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to film the whole entire rear rear um, brake drum um, changing process because I gotta get ready for work. 
but whenever I get whenever we I get off work and I come back home I will show you guys everything that we got done I'll show you everything I'll show you how what, what the rear tires look like right after I get back home if that's if it's even done and I'll see you guys then because I can't film so I can't stay home from work so anyway guys I'll see you guys when I get back home from work okay y'all it's actually now a couple of days after I made that last clip but yes I am very 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 sorry about that it's been very very busy lately but now I'm good to finally do my outro for you guys so yes, we want to show you guys what we did to my car's brakes. And right here, they are. Here's the rear brake drums. As you can actually see, the rear brake drums are brand new. This thing actually stops like a dime. And now, we don't even have to put chalk inside the car now. We can simply just put the parking brake up now to actually get, like, to actually be able to park this car, which I am very, very excited about. The other side is also done as well. And also, we got both rear lights back in. I may have already shown you guys about that this light is currently still broken we're currently looking for a new rear light headpiece here hopefully get this thing fixed up as well because the sound of the car has not changed yet but yes that's pretty much what the brakes look like now anyway guys i'm gonna have to go ahead and end today's video right here if you guys did enjoy please make sure you guys go hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and also go ahead and go drop a like on this video to support me in the channel thank you all so much for 600 subscribers that is an insane thing for me to actually say I'm now currently on the road to 700 subscribers. So if you guys can please tell everybody you know to subscribe to me and help me help me help me reach 700 700 subscribers within the next couple of months. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social medias. They will all be linked in the description box down below as well, as well as also all my other YouTube channels. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Peace out. Hey.